G'day viewers. I recently received a comment from one of my dear subscribers, Rochelle, from sunny North Queensland. Now, Rochelle took time out from bending bananas and dodging cane toads to tell me that she's been testing for nitrates in her ponds using both the API and the JBL nitrate test kits. But when she does, the API always shows two to three times more nitrates than what the JBL does. So she asked me if this was common. And I said, well, bug it if I know, but let's find out. So I thought this might be a good opportunity to try a few of these different nitrate test kits and see how they compare. So join me in the lab and let's see how these kits stack up. GV Aquariums Australia. Rightio viewers, after speaking with Rochelle, I gave the credit card a bit of a workout and bought all of these nitrate test kits. And to make for a better comparison, I've tested two different tanks, one with low nitrates and one with higher nitrates. So together we'll go through the procedure for each test and what each individual test costs. And for those of you who are like me and have the attention span of a four-year-old, I've sped everything up so it doesn't get too boring. So let's get into it. So the first tank we'll be testing is my 250 gallon South American tank, which has generally pretty low nitrates. So we'll grab a sample out of the sump and head off to the lab. Okay then viewers, we're in the lab to test out these different nitrate test kits. And just for Chris from Stubbs Aquatics, Australia's favorite Canadian, I'd just like to say, that's 102 degrees Fahrenheit in the shed at the moment. So I hope you're enjoying winter up there in glorious Canada. So first cab off the rank is the API five in one pond test strips and they work out at about a dollar and six cents per test. But if you're like me and like to save a few dollars, you can always cut the strip in half and save some money. Procedure for this one's pretty easy. Dip it in, give it two swells, take the stick out parallel, and then wait 30 seconds to read the nitrates. And here we've ended up with somewhere between 20 and 40 parts per million. Next up is the Tetra brand 6-in-1 Easy Strips and they work out about 88 cents a test, so a little bit cheaper than the API. And the test, same thing, dip it in, wait a second, and then wait for 60 seconds before comparing it to the bottle. And here, this one ended up below 20 parts per million. Now we have the API nitrate kit, which is the one most of us are probably familiar with. And at about $35 for 90 tests, it works out about 39 cents a test. So that's a lot cheaper than the strips. It has pretty easy to follow instructions and a nice waterproof comparison chart. And it's a good idea to rinse out your test tube or vial. It'll remove any residue from previous tests and prevent contamination and give a more accurate reading. Now this is a fairly easy test to perform, just 5 mil in the syringe and then 10 drops of the first bottle and then the second bottle, give it a good shake for at least 30 seconds because it does settle in the bottle and then 10 drops of that one and then we shake the test tube for 1 minute while it mixes and then we let it sit for 5 minutes. And at the end of that 5 minutes we have a result of about 20 parts per million. Next it's the Fluval Nitrate Test Kit and at about 36 cents a test it worked out the cheapest of the lot. Now fairly good colour chart, easy to follow instructions and this paper is all waterproof so if you get it wet it's not the end of the world. Now the Fluval Test comes with this nice little holder and its own little pipette. And so we add 5 mil up to the line, then we add five drops of bottle one, five drops of bottle two, and then give it a mix. And then we shake bottle three for at least 30 seconds and add three drops. And then wait for five minutes for our result. And after the five minutes, you give it a quick shake and then compare to the chart. And this is showing at about 10 parts per million 
which was about half what the API was. Now Rochelle, it's a time for the JBL kit. I've got a master kit here, but if you bought the nitrate kit by itself, it works out at about $1.14 a test, so it would want to be good for the price. Now it has the instruction book, but it also has these nice little binder here, and on one side it has the directions, and the other side is the colour chart, and it's all waterproof and really easy to read. Now procedure for this one, use the included syringe and put 10 mil in each of these little bottles. Because as one of these bottles remains just with the water for a control. And then we added one scoop of the powder and six drops of bottle two. And then give it a really good shake and then leave it for 10 minutes. And while we're waiting our 10 minutes for the test, it's a good opportunity to jump over on my channel and check out another video. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if like Rochelle, you've always wanted to know something, drop me a line and maybe together we could figure it out. Now after 10 minutes, remove the cap off our test bottle and they both go in this handy little grey block. And that lines up on our colour chart. And see the top one we're looking straight through at the colour and that's our control. And so move it side to side till both those colours match up. Which I think that one is there. And it's only showing one milligram per litre. Now I don't really think that's enough. And I did this test twice and I got the same result. So what's going on there, I don't know. Maybe we'll have a different result when we do our second tank. Now the Sarah brand test works out at about 42 cents per test. And unfortunately the instructions aren't on the most waterproof of paper. You can see there I've got a few drops on it, but it did eventually dry out. You just have to be really careful you don't get it too wet. So firstly, 10 ml of water into the vial and the first time you use this test, there's a little spike in the lid to puncture the nozzle. Otherwise you'll be squeezing, squeezing, squeezing and nothing will come out. So it's six drops of bottle one, give it a shake. Six drops of bottle two, give it another shake. Add one spoonful of the powder and then shake for precisely 15 seconds. Then six drops of bottle four, give it a quick shake and then wait five minutes. And after five minutes, line it up on the chart and we've ended up with about 10 milligrams per litre, which is the same as the fluval and about half as much of the API. Now for Australian made Aquasonic nitrate test kit. And at a dollar and two cents, it's one of the more pricey test kits. But the instructions are really clear, the writing's really big, so if your eyes aren't the best like mine, it makes life a lot easier. And a nice waterproof colour chart there. Now for this one, five mil in the tube, then seven drops of reagent A, and swirl to mix. Then add one level scoop, of reagent B which is the powder and then gently swirl the solution for a few seconds and then add seven drops of reagent C mix for a few seconds and then let the solution stand for three minutes then after three minutes put it on the card and that water is clear you can just see that little bit of powder in the bottom there's no measurement whatsoever so I think this one's a bit of a bust so, but I did do the test twice same result so to recap, the API strips were 20 to 40 parts per million. The Tetra strip was a little bit less than 20. API was 20 parts per million. The Fluval was about 10. JBL showed one milligram a litre. The Sarah showed 10 milligram a litre. And the Aquazonic showed nothing. Now I'll quickly show you the results of the Boss's community tank. 
My big South American tank has two BCB baskets in it. That's what keeps the nitrates pretty low, but this one doesn't, so they should be a bit higher. So it'll be interesting to see what readings we get. So the API pond strips are showing probably about 50 maybe, possibly 60, and it was showing 20 to 40 on the other tank, so that's not quite double. And the tetra strips, they're showing over 20, whereas before they were less than 20, so it's not much of an increase there. The API test is showing north of 40, probably about 60, so it's probably two to almost three times the previous tank. The fluval is showing about 20, so that's double the previous tank. And the JBL, it's a little bit too dark for three, not quite dark enough for five, so let's call that one four, so that's four times the previous tank. And the Sarah test is showing about halfway between 25 and 50 which when I went to school was about 37 and a half, which is 3.7 times more than the previous tank. And the Aquasonic, even though you can't really see it on the camera, there's a slight pinkish little tinge there, but that's still well below five parts per million. So I don't really understand what's going on with that one. Well, Rochelle, even though this video has probably left more questions than answers, hopefully your mind is at ease knowing you're not the only one getting different results from different tests. I think the best strategy is probably just pick a test that you like and use that one and at least it'll show when your levels change. And hopefully someone out there will be able to tell us why we're getting all these varied results. And to all your other viewers, drop me a line, let me know if you're experiencing the same sort of thing. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like leaving likes, leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out one of these videos.